Ole, a community in the northeastern state of Adamawa. It's home to more than 100,000 people. But since the insurgency broke in the region, hundreds of thousands more have flooded the area from neighboring Yobe and Borono states. Among those trying to recover their lives is Charity Garba. She escaped captivity from Boko Haram insurgents. For now, she's counting her blessings as most Boko Haram captives end up being killed or turned into sex slaves to militants. Truthfully, I suffered so much. I ran through the bushes and at the time I was pregnant. Before my delivery, I ran from Awuba into Mumbi. When they attacked Mumbi, I ran into Yola. We now have a farm. We have also been given rice, beans and maize. We have planted them and they're doing good so far. So I'm expecting a good harvest. Today, like several others in this community, Charity is a beneficiary of a reintegration program initiated by the American University of Nigeria, which is domiciled in that community. She's back to her previous business, farming, and now she's expecting a bountiful harvest. Since 2009, more than 20,000 people have been killed by the terrorist group Boko Haram, the northeastern region being the worst hit. Millions have fled their homes as a result, most of them having to depend on government and other agencies for their survival. Dealing with the humanitarian crisis in Bole hasn't been an easy task for the university and the people, as government aid hardly ever got to displaced persons within the community. So they've had to deal with the situation on their own. The biggest challenge was when external and even domestic support began to happen and began to come into Yola, it went to the camps. But of the 400,000 people were, who were here, at most 20,000 were in the camps. The rest were with us in the community. So it was incredibly frustrating to um, see funds coming in and not being used well for the few thousands in the camps, and we were trying to deal with hundreds of thousands of people living in the community. Rotimi Ogundijo is a farm research coordinator at the American University of Nigeria. He says the program would make those displaced self-sufficient. What we see is that this is going to be a very good food security for them. In fact, we are looking at IDPs that might even be helping their fellow IDPs because now they have been empowered, they have the food, uh, they, they can't go hungry, they can even give, it, give out. And that's really our aim. It may take years in rebuilding the region devastated by Boko Haram, meaning that millions displaced may not be able to return home anytime soon. Kilechi Emekalam, CCTV, Adamawa, Northeast Nigeria.